Hello everybody, my name is uh, Joe Guy, and welcome back to Dark Souls. That initial turnaround to do is always really awkward, it never quite translates quite right the first time. Recording problems, I guess it's almost like as close as this game ever gets to being a blooper. Anyway, yes, welcome back here to the Duke's Archives. We are on this dangerous, dangerously placed bonfire with hostiles all around. And we're going to get on our way today, I... I, I'm aware that last couple of places I went to, the last kind of Lord's Soul areas, what I did was I essentially went part of the way in and then went elsewhere. But I'm kind of inclined to explore more of the Duke's archives now that I'm here, because I'm kind of interested in the area. Especially, you know, we're kind of, in terms of the lore, we're dealing with Seath the Skillis at the moment, who I find quite interesting and, and very, very scary. I've been thinking a little bit about him now. I, I'm pretty sure I would have touched on at least one or two of these points before. But essentially, from the beginning, Seath the Scaleless betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. We saw in the intro cutscene Seath the Scaleless crushing stone scales beneath his hand. And this seems to be... The stone... I'm pretty sure this was in like an item description or something. Dragon scale. Yeah. Hmm. A dragon is inseparable from its scales, and the transcendent apostles who seek the perpetuity of the ancient dragons have crossed the very end of the earth to see this invaluable treasure. Okay, well, it doesn't really say there. Hmm. Interesting. Perpetuity. I'm not really sure what perpetuity means, actually. <laughs> it's a definition. Hang on, I'll fuck it, I'll look it up. Never ending or changing. Perpetual. Definition. Never ending or changing. Occurring repeatedly, so frequent, so it seem endless and in uninterrupted. You know that the dragons were everlasting and I forget where I learned this but I know I've mentioned it in this series before that it does appear to be the scales themselves these stone scales that make the dragons everlasting although they can die uh, but it only with like great power such as Gwyn's mighty lightning bolts that peeled apart their stone scales and Seath as somebody who's skillless never had that so it's possibly out of a mixture it's possibly out of sheer jealousy of his well his peers that Seath, you know, weird kind of mutant dragon that he that he is, betrayed the dragons because he could never be immortal in the way that they were. So he's here researching something, crystallization, and we saw him there sitting amongst basically a throne of crystals. The entire room was crystallized. It was really quite fascinating, and he seemed to be fixed into the ground, and back there as well is something really strange. My point is, and again I forget if I mentioned this before, but from the information that's presented in front of us now, we can maybe surmise, surmise that the purpose of Seath's research here is immortality, in one way or another. I mean, why would he have changed that goal? And for the record, he's still alive right now, so maybe he did find a way. Uncertain. Either way, we know for a fact he's run mad now. So, despite having achieved his immortality, he sacrificed a lot of of others to do it. He's got these crystallized undead and these strange channelers who are probably servants of Seath uh, themselves. He seems to he seems to deal heavily in magic, for which I have to say I am not very well equipped. This sh shield, hmm, only reduces magic by like twenty percent. And this stuff, I mean, the magic defense in that is okay, <sighs> but yeah, my method of dealing with magic is more or less just avoid it, like dodge it coming, and for the record, I do dodge very well. So we're going to carry on, maybe we can find out a little bit more about the Duke's Archives today, I, I don't really know if we came across anything else. Um, no, yep, Seize Madness, Serpent Men, Mistakes. Serpent so member careless. Uh huh. Trove of pet precious tombs. He seems to have collected knowledge from all over the place. But he's he's certainly done now. Or he will be very soon once we see him. But I don't really know how we're gonna take him on. That boss fight up there was kind of a uh, <laughs> was kind of bollocks, and I don't really know how we're gonna get back there at this point. I mean, I can warp from this bonfire, and I didn't need warp out. Like I actually, some of you may have noticed, I equipped myself out with a bunch of arrows, I got some left and got some arrows, I farmed some humanity, speaking of, 
I said I would keep doing this, and despite the fact this seems to be a quite high invasion area, I learned something new, by the way, and I wasn't aware of this before, but you can only be invaded in areas where you have not defeated the boss. So let's reverse the hollowing here. This is kindled once. I'm tempted to kindle it again, honestly. Whilst I'm human, and this area is challenging, I'm just going to kindle it up further. Give myself 50 nest discs, because why the hell not? That means that even if I do get invaded and lose my humanity, then it will not be a wasted endeavor, because I'll have at least done this. So let's get into this place, actually fight some fools, and have another go at this place. So what's the best way to handle all this? Hey guys, I definitely want to avoid that archer on the bookcase, because he is a pain in the butt. Come on. Whoa. That guy's coming up behind me. Stay still. There we go. Good undead. Oh, there's the archer. Screweth youth. You're not intimidated, are you? No need to be. I lied. Nice. Not nice, useless, but whatever. So does that mean you came down from there? Take a bit of a drop there, that's fine. So let's have a bit more of an explore of this room. Back and forth. Tombs just lying on the table. I wonder how old they are at this point, how long they've been lying there for. It doesn't seem like a lot of actual research gets done here now. The channelers just guard. I suspect they themselves are just hollow. Although their height suggests maybe, uh... The thing I'm noticing about the gods is that they tend to be very tall. Now, one assumes that they were human at one point, but the power invested in them maybe grew them a bit. Completely unconfirmed opinion, of course, but Guinevere... Um, I don't know about Gwendolyn, I've never actually seen him, and I don't intend to, because I don't ever intend to like go and actually... Ooh, where the hell did you come from? <laughs> I don't intend to actually go confront Gwendolyn, because he's, he's master of my covenant, a covenant which I find quite fun. But, yeah. Guinevere, uh, what the hell was it? Crossbreed, crossbreed Priscilla or something like that? Am I getting that right? I think I am. Yeah, from the Painter World of Ariamis. And aside from that, hmm. well, I guess maybe I'm generalizing a little bit too much. We haven't really seen a mass amount of conclusive evidence. We've seen those two. We've seen statues of Lord Gwyn and stuff like that. Knight Solaire's normal sized, but then again he was stripped of his deism. Assuming that what we think about him is correct. We know there are species of giants. Gwyn could very well be a normal size. I keep forgetting that you do not hold with all that going behind you, Malarkey. Yeah. Gwyn could well be normal size and just they're the mother of his children happen to be a larger a larger woman such as a giant or something even bigger of course we may have seen statues of uh, the mother of Gwyn's children around at least that's who I'm kind of assuming are the is the statue of that woman that we keep coming across every now and then Unconfirmed. Whoa. Is that a visual glitch over there? That's kind of strange. I don't know why that would be happening. Hey, come here. I don't know. But let's try focus more on Seath for now. I don't know why I even bother. Hey, is this where I came from? Oh, it is. Which means that at that elevator there will take me back up to Seath. If I want to have another go at him, but... The way his attacks worked... And waking up in the cell afterwards... Suggests that maybe I'm missing something in order to better take him on. So I want to explore most of this place first. Plus it's kind of natural to explore a place fully before... Taking on a boss. Except for the undead asylum, but that doesn't count. For reasons... Oh, no, 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 I don't want to... Yeah, okay, good. 
I don't want to bother with you guys. You know, I just remember it's kind of solid down here. <laughs> There's nothing here for me. So let's just not bother. They may follow me, they may not. Let's just head up and keep exploring. Oh, hi. Make up your mind. I've got the formula for taking these guys down. Oh. Just pummel him in submission. I would love to see a set of those guys' armor. To find out what their deal is. So this is the way out of the... Yeah. Almost forgot where I was. Let's just run up and take care of him. Ow. Sometimes he misses. Very occasionally. I like that you guys go down so quickly. It's very nice for me. What's this say over here? Chests have already opened. Here. Yep. Thank you. Not sure why you bother, quite frankly. As you can see, I've miracled up today. I'd like to start relying on miracles more, and I'd really... I think I'm going to focus almost exclusively on faith uh, for the time being. So I really would like to get into miracles more, and I would really like my miracles to be stronger. Okay, so we did this. Let's turn this around and see what's in the next area. Where was that door that went there? It is. Okay, well, we'll go there eventually. First of all, I want to check up here. I apologize for being here before. You can forgive me for making these mistakes, though. All these kind of passages look the same. At the moment, maybe... If it helps, think of this as like a warm-up. I haven't said that though, is that a chest I... No, no, that's the chest I was literally just at. It's confusing me because of like, diagonal levels. Let's get this guy next. Nothing there. Hey buddy. Can I get past please? Can I? No, okay. Eat it. Hello. Whoop. <laughs> so I'm gonna kill him, but it was funny. It's funny to me. Alright. So down there. Just trying to I really wish there were more landmarks and stuff like that for this. But I think I've been up there already. I would have had to have been. What I haven't been is down there. So let's do that now. Hopefully he's just blow me. Thanks for breaking my fall, buddy. He's, he's having at me. If he's there, does that mean I didn't go here? Even if I didn't, it doesn't matter. Let's turn this around and it really... What is that noise? Is just something turning below me? Sounds like heavy footsteps. Wrong way. Okay. So here's the last chest I haven't opened yet. Aha, somewhere I definitely haven't been. Not a mimic either. Must be my birthday. Very nice. Okay. So that's that. The next area to explore would be that passageway with the archer which refused to be locked onto. Sounds good. And I think it's just up these stairs, along to the left, and then back down. You know, I wonder who that uh, guy who attacked me was on the way up to seats. He must have been a guard, and presumably a fairly loyal guard, to have such a position so far up in the tower. Or maybe I'm completely wrong, maybe he was just seeking Seath and was too scared to go confront him. But then again, his crystallization of his armor suggests kind of a 
that he's something to do with this place. This place is heavy on the crystal. It's a lovely look he's got going. I'm hoping we'll find his armor too. Yay, Mr. Mr. No, don't lock on to me. Dig it. Dig it again. And again. Ah, to have arrows. So, down here. Does this ladder extend all the way to the floor? I can't abort the sequence, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay. I thought the ladder only went part way down for some reason. A lever. To the most obvious looking secret door ever. Let's clear out this room first. Trying to hear what those whispers in the background are. Those whispers I try to ignore. Oh, good. That was so obviously a place I could have sworn it would have been a mimic. Maybe some of these books themselves whisper. Or this place is haunted. We've dealt sort of with ghosts. Uh huh. Excellent. All right, Helm of the Channelers, sorcerers that serve Seath the Scaleless. The six eyes arranged in two vertical columns compensate for Seath's lack of sight. Oh, can't see. That maybe explains why he didn't attack me as soon as uh, as soon as he saw me earlier. Hmm. Right, heaviest of protective gear for sorcerers and imbued with magic. Okay. Robe of the Channeler sources that serve. Even after the onset of Seas Madness, the Snatchers, as they were often called, ventured to far lands to find suitable human spe specimens. The heaviest of protective gear for sorcerers and the beauty of magic. So they they went to catch people to bring back here or turn them into crystal soldiers, mistakes, serpent men. You know, let's assume that the serpent men uh, were deliberate products that the uh, Crystal Soldiers were deliberate products. But what else, I wonder? What else could be... What else could he be trying to achieve? All right, one of these got to be a Mimic, right? They've already been Mimics here. Oh, nice. Oh, that's got to be it, right? God, that whispering. Jancel once imprisoned countless maidens, but it is now empty, save for a few key persons. They struggle to uphold their sanity as the hordes of mistakes writhe at a fearfully close proximity. Maidens. Why maidens in particular? Do you really go out your way to kidnap Guinevere's maidens? Yeah, I actually think I actually saw this one moving, so I think you can actually tell like just by sight they are it's like this one's mouth is open in anticipation of me I hate you you dick whoa whoa hey eat this what you got for me okay symbol of avarice an enchanted falchion that's interesting Symbol of Avarice. Yeah, symbol of greed, huh? Monster head resembling a treasure chest. Once an ancient god, it is said that... It is said... It is said this is the symbol of shame imposed on a long-lost clan. Exiled for the sin of Avarice. Wearing this slightly raises soul absor absorption and item discovery, but also affects wear with the curse of the branded. I don't get... I don't want to be cursed, so I'm not going to wear this right now. I'm going to try and find out more about it later, but... Really interesting. Once an ancient god. The chest itself was an ancient god? And then a clan. Kind of maybe explains, like, the humanoid within them stretched and folded to fit inside this chest. Ugh. Disturbing. Well, there's a ton of levers to like, to like press. Uh, where do I want to start here? And is there a way out of here? 
there's a ladder up there, and that's about it, right? I see, so it's not an obvious secret wall, this is more just... This is the secret room itself. Right, well, let's pull one lever. I've been here before. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, my bonfire. Cool. Hopefully that stays open. That'll make uh, exploration of this area a lot easier. There's another le lever over here. I don't think I'm missing any others. What's this? Excuse me. Nice. Very well hidden chest. And not a greedy one either. Crystal Ember. Ooh. Ooh, very nice. Very, very nice. Keys, right? Yep. Yeah. Created by Seath Skillis. Handled only by the giant gods blacksmiths. Crystal weapons are powerful, brittle, cannot be repaired once broken. Yeah. Crystal Ember, huh? That's an impressive feat of magic. Not useful to me so much, but uh, I'm pretty sure the giant blacksmith would like it. Pull this guy. Because it's looking like a set of stairs. Holy moly, I was right. Soldiers guarding every turn. Alright, come on, buddy. Didn't see that one coming, did ya? Alright. What else is down here? Oh joy, a white light. A chest? Mick? I need to find Mimic in quarters like this. He'd just be hitting his head all the time. Prism stone. And maybe suggest a use for a prism stone. I do not like the gameplay that that implies. I truly don't. Can I? I can't break these. But I can get up here. Is there maybe something up here too? A single book. Yeah, you know, this place is a hive of twisting and mechanized end gears and stuff like that. This may have just been what amounted to the workshop. Alright, well, I don't this doesn't feel like a boss. I could be very wrong though. I have um I have homeward if I really want to get the hell out of here, because I'm not sure I want to enter with this amount of souls. Uh no it's clearing. Oh, I recognize this place. What's here? Oh! Golden Golem. See, now this is an example of the thing that I fought in the uh, Darker Basin. Um, Golden Golem was... had imprisoned someone. Maybe this one has done the same. No, this thing is a bit of a toughie. Whoop. Missed. Good start. Whoa. Bad time frame rate issues. This guy is tough. I'd rather not get hit by the move set. Halfway down. Maybe try and missing force it. You see what happens. Oh man, that's like 35, that's barely anything. I'd hate to be at a meaty end of that uppercut. Where was that going? Kinda worries me that you can remote control that bad boy. Move! <sighs> okay, you're almost done. I can one good wallop will bring you down. Yeah, I'm frustrating you, aren't I? <laughs> wow. You turn up in the oddest places. It was you who rescued me. Oh. Why, thank you. I am Zeezland of Katarina. I don't know how I ended up in that crystal. 
It wasn't terrible in there, but I could hardly move. Huh? I must think of some way to repay you. Okay. Good. You know, you look just like your father. <laughs> oh, have you seen my father? Uh -huh. You wouldn't miss him. A suit of armor just like mine. Yeah. Uh, yes, I have. Thank goodness. I knew he was here somewhere. Well then, now I must find him. Thanks again, truly. Now if I just stay put and keep out of trouble. Trust me, he doesn't move anywhere unless I move it for him. Thank goodness. Well, Okay, good for you. Have a good one now. Interesting. Did he tell us that he came here looking for his daughter? I, I really do lose track. It's pretty awful. Oh god, I just... I don't have quite enough stamina to pull that off. Like, just in a row. Pretty simple, though. Uh, there's three clustered over there. Ah, uh, sneaky one. I know I can stagger you. Whoop. What an annoying amount of stamina to require. Might be in. Blue Titanite Chunks upgrade magic weapons, right? I think so. Uh, what am I doing? I can't take all this on at once. Kai okay, time. I think I need about 40,000 souls to level up at this point. Ugh. Damn. So I can't rely on that. I can hear something tromping around. It must be just something else further away. There's nothing near me. I keep feeling like I'm being snuck up on. Yeah. Oh, sticky bastard. Try again. I'm getting one more fun of that move, which is takes miles, miles of time, loads of time to wind up, but actually comes in very useful when it's to finish off an enemy. Just get an extra little bit of pushing. I was using it earlier to like. You may have. Some of you may have noticed that. Ugh. I had a. Oh, nice. That had a little bit more humanity than I did at the end of the last session. That's because I. I went back down to the prison and basically killed a few of the mistakes. Which is cool. I was using this move to do it, because it brings him down one hit. Now, does this thing look different, or is it just me? No, they're kind of hard to tell sometimes. Hey there. Ooh, what a lunge. Ow. Good way to farm this stuff if you're looking for it. I, however, I'm not. Aha! How about that? Ask and ye shall receive. Whoops! I don't mean to be wearing that. It's just totally worse, but then again, I have upgraded that. Crystallized armor worn by a hollowed knight who is partially crystallized. The power of the crystal grants high defense. So it was hollowed in the end. Is that really all you're going to tell me about it? Um, God, I'm confusing myself. It's heavy, but it's not as heavy as some stuff I'm wearing right now. But then again, is it actually crystal? I don't think so. So it can be repaired. Okay. Well, I'm. I would kind of maybe think about going for that, but I don't really like the look. And so. It's not part of the getting closer to that crystal thing, whatever it is. I can't even really tell through the trees at this point. Yeah, not really a look I would like to go for. It certainly does look like somebody who's been like hollowed out though. It's like they weren't anything in particular, they were just 
another soul. That safe bent to their will, but begs the question, Hollow Knight partially crystallized? Was that maybe a failed experiment for the crystal soldiers? Could well have been. Unsure at this point. Whoop. I wonder if these things were once people. I doubt it. Golems tend to be only animate in so far as their uh wow this place. You know, like extensions of their master's will and not like fully formed individuals themselves. Even these trees are crystallized. These are trees. How strange. Oh well, I might I might got both of you. That's lame. There's one over there too. Okay. Well, maybe I should practice fighting multiple ones of you at once. So I just need to get in there pretty quick. Right quick. The range of your attacks. Whoop. Always just need to keep an eye on them at once. Maybe do a little bit better at focusing fire. I'm not really sure how I avoided that. I think it was a height thing. Ow. That uppercut. Run off. They're not that fast. Use that in the openness of the area. Oh, that was close. I've actually lost track of which one's which at this point. Ah, you're the healthy one. In that case, you. Yeah, man. Those are the funnest fights to even watch, I find. The ones where it's multiple enemies at the same time. So you're back there looking very suspicious. Are you guarding something? Mm, not from the looks of it. Kind of redundant over here. Then they think about guard placement. Nothing I kind of want to work on in terms of Dark Souls skill is timing my dodges because I've got these thoroughly excellent dodge, but I cannot really. I'm not the best at using it. If I was using it properly, I'd be timing it perfectly with the enemy's attacks, making use of those invulnerability frames. And can I get in here, or is this just a dead end? Oh my. It's actually a cave. Uh. 